So I'm getting Peter's Go Home videos to you. It's going to be kind of a series just so that I can show you everything. I'll probably have the help of the other trainers here so that I can film. Um, or I can work PETA and they can film. But I wanted to get you a video on how to work PETA's e-collar. So she is on the dog tread e-collar just because she is smaller, it fits her better. Um, so how to work it, when this is at zero, the remote is off. To turn it on, you just turn the dial. So this is right about where PETA works. She works in between, like just under 20 if she's not listening, she goes in between the 20 and the 40. So she works pretty low levels, that's pretty low for the dog tra. And then the button we're using is going to be this C button right here. So um, that's, that stands for continuous, that means we can tap it and it'll just send one sim, um, stimulation through the prongs on the collar or we can hold it continuously and that's continuously sending stimulation through these prongs on the collar. So to turn, and this little knob up here stands for one dog and two dog. So we always wanna make sure it's on one dog because this is a one dog system. We're not using it for two dogs right now. Um, so to turn the remote on, we just turn the dial. To turn the collar on, there's this red dot right here on the remote and a red dot right here on the collar. So we're gonna to touch these two together and you see how this um, flash green and so that means it's on and then it's just going to flash green the whole time it's on and when it's flashing green that means it's fully charged and it's on if it's on and it's flashing red that means it's dying so you need to charge it these should last you should just be able to charge them every other day and it should last um, for those two days as long as you're taking it off at night and turning it off if you're leaving it on all night then it's gonna die faster all right so the end button stands for Nick, um, that's momentary. And then the same thing with the P, it stands for pulse, that's also a momentary. So these ones we don't really use just because they are, um, they're harder to control and we don't get to control like how long the stimulation goes for and how, or how short it goes for. So we just stick to this C button um, and that's all Pete has been learning is just on this continuous button. So. For different um, commands, we either tap it, or for other commands, we hold it down until she starts, for instance, and so until she starts coming towards me. And I'll explain that in the other video so that you can see it with PETA. Um, but also, on the back of the remote, there's a little plug right here. That's where you plug it in. And I'm gonna send home PETA home with a box that has a charger in it. And then also, there's a little plug right here on the collar. Then that's where you, you charge the collar. And then in a different video, I will also show you how to properly fit this to PETA. All right, Virginia, there you go.